Hello everyone. Uh, first time doing this, kind of doing a little review of my 2022 CF Moto CLX 700 Sport. So uh, I have about 800 miles on this bike. I've had it for a couple of months. I uh, absolutely love the bike. Uh, has a lot of power for the, the size it is, a 700. And the rider's stance, believe it or not, is pretty comfortable in comparison to some of the traditional bikes I think that most of us have been riding since we were younger. Uh, I grew up on Hondas and Suzukis and Kawasaki's, the typical, I think, growing up of most of us. And I was real skeptical about going with this brand. Uh, I was actually looking for a four-wheeler at the time and the salesman in Texas where I bought this bike kind of informed me of, hey, it's a new kind of company. They've been around for a while, but they're kind of getting their foot in, into the States. So with that, I've had the CF Force 1000. Uh, it's been since December of last year and thoroughly love the machine. Hasn't let me down and has a lot of power. But uh, back to the motorcycle. Uh, I've seen a lot of reviews on this thing. I just want to kind of put some stuff out there that I can compare it to because there's not too many people that talk about it. Um, when it comes to the modes, you can switch right here. If I can get it to focus. It's not going to focus. There it goes. So on your left-hand side, you have a switch to go from Eco to Sport. So Eco, very calm, smooth shifting. Uh, and to Sport though, it has a very aggressive throttle response. And the only thing I can really compare it to is the uh, Power Commander kind of deal where I had uh, some Suzuki's 1000s and the Hayabusa's where I'd stick a Power Commander on them. And it would actually, you know, increase the throttle response and make it extremely touchy. So that's kind of how I compare this for this machine. Uh, but like I said, the power is great. Uh, when I am in traffic though and stuff like that, I will switch to Eco to make it a little bit more uh, easier on shifting. Uh, other than that, I haven't really had any issues with the bike except for starting this week. I have approximately 800 miles on the bike. Uh, when you go to shift, when I'm in sixth gear, I'll be riding in sixth gear and occasionally it'll indicate it being in first gear. So, turn on the display. So, your gear will display right here and there's your sport mode where it talks about the uh, the RPM range. So what it's been doing is uh, it will jump back and forth between sixth to first gear for indication only. The bike does not do anything as far as changing the actual physical gear. It's just the act of indication. Uh, other than that, I haven't had any issues with the bike mechanically. I just did the first service at 600 miles. Uh, everything was going good for that. I uh, came out today and just kind of washed it out because I got rained on yesterday. Only other thing I noticed today after the rainstorm went through yesterday is just a little bit of rust on the chain, but that's kind of normal. So I'm going to clean the chain and uh, re lube it. Uh, things I think CF Moto needs to work on is this ugly rear end that's covering up this beautiful rear end right here. So I've seen a plate set up that kind of goes like right here and it drops down on top of the tire uh, i don't like that because it covers up that beautiful rear end right there where the brake light is so i think that really needs to be addressed uh and that's something else you guys will kind of see if you decide to purchase one of these machines the aftermarket right now for these is uh very minuscule so there is some stuff on i think it's called like aliexpress uh that i've been looking at and cf moto has actually been coming out with a few accessories like the rear seat, when I bought this thing, there was not a rear seat option. There now is a rear seat option. And then as far as the front end for protection, the radiator, they've come up with a cover for the radiator to kind of alleviate any kind of impacts from rocks or any kind of other debris. I do think in the future down here, uh, your oil filter is completely exposed. Uh, you do have some protection from the headers uh, as far as debris, but I think there needs to be some sort of cage along the bottom whether it be mesh or something, just kind of protect that bottom end just a little bit. Uh, other than that, as far as ease and maintenance, uh, everything's extremely accessible because it is a naked bike, like a cafe style racer. So I do appreciate that. Then uh, the other kind of upgrade with the Sport 
from the heritage style is the Brembo brakes. I will say these things will, they will lift the back end up uh, pretty easily if you're not careful. They are extremely powerful. Um, other than that, uh, since I only got about, like I said, 750, 800 miles on the bike, is I'm still playing with the suspension as far as adjustment. The suspension was extremely tight when I received it, and I've been playing with it, uh, trying to find the proper setting for me. Other than that, uh, the bike has been great. If you guys have any questions or anything, I'll do one more kind of lap around the bike. Uh, other than that, it's been great for me. I would encourage you guys to at least look into this brand, whether you purchase or not, at least do a little bit of education, because the price point on these is much, much cheaper than the traditional Polaris, Can-Am, Honda, Suzuki, Kawasaki kind of deal. Haven't mentioned Yamaha, I'm not really a Yamaha fan. Sorry, Yamaha guys, but this bike is extremely beautiful. There is another color, I believe it's like a white, black, yellow accent. I prefer the black, blue, and gray scheme. But absolutely love the bike, and let me know if you guys have any questions. Talk to you later.